Hey everybody, Izola here with Flick Direct, and I got my hands on a copy of the 20th anniversary of the 4K UHD Steelbook of Collateral. This is going to be a wild ride, so grab your popcorn, sit back, relax, and let's get this started. It's been a long time since I've seen Collateral, but from what I remember, I really enjoyed it. So I was really happy that I got to rewatch this on the 4K UHD, and I really wanted to see what the Steelbook uh, and Anniversary Edition, you know, had to offer. What goodies did I get in this? So I'll be sharing this all with you. But first, I thought we might want to take just a minute or two to discuss what the movie's about. In Collateral, Jamie Foxx plays a character named Max, who is a taxi driver in LA. And his night just goes awry when Tom Cruise, whose character's name is Vince, gets into his cab. And maybe I shouldn't say gets in. He pretty much hijacks this. And, you know, everything goes awry, but it's still a lot of fun. Because at first, you just think Vincent is this boring businessman in a suit, you know, just getting in a cab. But obviously, that is not the case, and you quickly find out that he is a hitman. And that's not the worst of it. He has multiple targets that need to be taken out that night. Multiple. And you'll see what I mean when you watch the movie. I think that you can guess what happens next. A lot of chaos, suspense, action, car chases. You name it, it's in there. And don't forget the humor. There's always a little tiny bit of humor sprinkled in, which I personally enjoy because it kind of breaks that tension. Tom Cruise does a really great job of portraying this ruthless professional hitman, and it's no surprise that he does everything really well in it because the man is meticulous. He is constantly studying and training I mean, he's an adrenaline junkie and does all of his own stunts. You know it's going to be good because he really puts everything, 110%, into what he's doing, and it shows. Director Michael Mann really did a great job with the casting. It really makes for a thrilling watch. And then, of course, you have Jamie Foxx, who is playing Max, the cab driver, and he is really the complete opposite of Vincent. But just give you a little bit of character background. He has a really good knack at finding the quickest routes to get to and from a place, which makes him an excellent cab driver. But doesn't always make him the most money because when he finds the quickest routes, he's not getting paid as much because obviously the ride doesn't take as long. So I don't know, it kind of bites him in the butt a little bit. But honestly, especially when you're in LA, it's really cool if he can save you a few bucks. He's a pretty, pretty nice guy. So you can see by this quick character description or breakdown that they're really complete opposites. And there will be a lot of conflict because one is very meticulous and calculated and the other is passive, well, and you know, pretty much runs away from any type of risk, personal and work life. Again, you watch it, you'll definitely understand. Okay, so back to the synopsis. So at first you're thinking that this is just your everyday average pickup, but no. Remember how I said earlier, Vince is very calculated. And to him, Max is very passive. So he feels like this is an easy target to manipulate and get him to do whatever he wants him to do. Primarily drive him to wherever he needs to go. But what fun would that be if that was just their characters? You know, we got to sprinkle in a little action there. And of course, you'll see Vince getting quickly frustrated with Max because he can't really get him to do what he wants because of reluctance to act. And because of his frustration, Vince tries to break Max out of his shell. 
thinking that this is going to get him to do whatever he wants, but it completely backfires. Yeah, didn't work out the way he had hoped. Now, you'll definitely understand what I mean when you watch the movie or get your hands on the steelbook. Uh, it is just action-packed, suspenseful. You've got a lot of give and take and a lot of tension. And like I said, a little bit of humor sprinkled in there. It's just a really fun watch. And because of that, I give it a 4.5 out of 5. Now on to the video. When making the 4K UHD of Collateral, they upscaled it from a 2K digital intermediate. Um, it includes HDR grading, which really gives the video slight improvements um, in regards to the detail and contrast. If you watch this and the older version side by side, you'll really see the difference. So I don't know, maybe you could have two monitors up and kind of watch them to see the comparison. But they did get a little bit of it upgraded as much as they could. Now, of course, you can't completely upgrade a movie and just make it look like what we have today, um, just because there's really no way of 100% improving it. But the quality and the upgrades that they were able to do with the video and in regards to cleaning it up and just making the bright colors brighter and, you know, contrast just really crisp and clean. They did a really good job. The footage has a very unique grainy look, um, which just gives us this really gritty kind of feel to it, which I really like. And you will definitely notice this in the night scenes. Now, even though they did a very good job on the upgrades, I'm still giving this a four out of five, which doesn't sound bad, but I feel like there still could have been a little more room for improvement. The 4K UHD provides a lot of higher quality views, and I do think they did the best they could with what they had. Again, this is the 20th anniversary, so they did exactly what they needed to do with what they had. Next up is audio. Now, this is in English 5.1 DTS HD Master Audio. I know you probably were all thinking Dolby Atmos, and that's what I was really hoping for, but obviously it, that is not the case. Having said that, the 5.1 really does a good job of giving you that tension-filled feeling while you're watching this movie. The audio does a great job of really making you feel like you're right there with the character like you're really experiencing what they're experiencing. And there's also this really good balance between dynamic and subtle sounds, which really just enhance the scenes. And because of this, I give the audio a 3.5 out of five. Primarily, this is because it wasn't Dolby Atmos, but still the sound quality, it's really, really good. This 20th anniversary Steelbook edition of Collateral is a two disc set. You get a Blu-ray with a 1080p copy of the film, as well as a digital code. And the discs are basically the same as the 2020 release, but I'm a girl who really loves a good Steelbook, so... This was definitely a great add to my collection, especially because after watching it again, I was really excited to remember that I enjoyed this movie a lot. Now, on to the extras of what you will be getting with this awesome steelbook. Disc one, UHD. Now this includes commentary with Michael Mann, and I think at this point, since I've been doing these a lot, you all know what comes with the commentary. It's I, again, really find those enjoyable. Uh, I would probably say on the second watch because you want to focus on the movie in the first watch. But having the commentary and hearing how they, you know, film certain scenes or how maybe the lines changed or things that they deleted or even if stunts went wrong, you're going to get that in the commentary because they're basically watching it and telling you what happened during that time. The other thing you get is the theatrical trailer. 
sorry, but you only get two things on the first disc. Now let's get to the meat and potatoes of it all, disc two. You obviously get the commentary again, and then you also get a teaser trailer and the theatrical trailer. So you get a little bit more there. In addition to this, you also get City of Night, which is uh, the making of Collateral, and that's just a short documentary of how it was made. The next one is Special Delivery, and that one's pretty funny because Tom Cruise had to dress up, well, I'll let you watch it to find out. You have deleted scenes with commentary, shooting on location, Annie's office, Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx rehearse, visual FX MTA train, and I'd say all of these pretty much run between two to three minutes except for uh, the Jamie Foxx and Tom Cruise part. So it doesn't really take up too much time, but there are some good things in there that I think you'll enjoy. I did really like the visual FX uh, MTA train because Man takes you behind the scenes and shows you how they filmed using the green screen, but it was primarily for the final scene. And that was really interesting to see how they use that to really get as precise of control as they could for the background. Again, I'm not giving you any spoilers. You're just gonna have to watch to see what I mean. For the extras, I'm going to give this a three and a half out of five. I know it sounds like you're getting a lot, but I just really wanted more, especially because on both discs, you're getting some dupes. Um, so yeah, I just, I wanted more maybe deleted scenes, extended scenes, um, I don't know, bloopers. I mean, come on, there had to be bloopers. Jamie Foxx, bloopers. I also heard Tom Cruise is kind of funny. So seriously, there had to be bloopers. I love bloopers, if you can't tell. This 20th anniversary 4K UHD of Collateral gives you detailed visuals, but maybe not as much as you were hoping for if you had the last release. But if you are a fan of Michael Mann, Tom Cruise, Jamie Foxx, I mean, heck, there are a lot of known actors in this movie. If you're a fan of any of them, or if you haven't purchased the movie yet, or if you're a Steelbook fan like I am, there are a lot of reasons why you should buy this. I definitely recommend getting your copy of this Steelbook because I really think you're gonna enjoy it. And it's a great addition to any library. Overall, I give the 20th anniversary 4K UHD Steelbook of Collateral, a four out of five. I'm rounding it up because it was so close to four and it definitely deserves it. So be sure to go online today and purchase it from a retailer such as, I don't know, Amazon, Target. They all have it. So you can get a copy and I hope you enjoy it. Again, I really think this is going to be a great addition to any collection. I know it fits well in mine. And with that, this concludes my review of the 20th anniversary 4K UHD Steelbook of Collateral. Please be sure to like and subscribe to all of our channels so you're always in the know. And also, if you do purchase it, be sure to come back and leave a comment below because I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.